was having a shot at goal once and we had a streak around on the field. So probably that'll be the funniest. Not mine personally, but probably the best one would be one of the boys midway through taking a shot, or actually in the way to take a shot. Pants unfortunately being Dak, but still being able to sort of get the goal and the job done, so probably my fave. Uh, Gareth Newton, um, he went to go and kick out from full back, missed the ball. He was so angry with himself, he touched down and spiked the ball after it and got dragged straight away. It's even funnier on the Monday night when we went over it in the review. Probably not mine, but uh, the few girls uh, fake tan running when the, when the rain comes on, so yeah. Watching AJ play football. Uh, it'd have to be one of my teammates rocking up without footy boots last year and played an entire senior game in his runners. <laughs> Well, I actually one time, it wasn't that funny, but it's funny in hindsight because I did like the splits or something. And, actually, no, that's probably inappropriate. I shouldn't say that one. Um, probably in the wet games, watching everyone slip and slide in the mud. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we had plenty of job where we fighted 18 plays back so they couldn't kick any more goals when we were 30 goals down. <laughs> Um, probably about halfway through last season, I, I took a pretty solid don't argue to the chest, um, delivered by a Braybrook Ford, and uh, went flying sort of backwards <laughs> like a ragdoll. Everyone tells me that was pretty funny. Night match, North Footscray, Josh Barker picking up uh, Verano from North Footscray's mouth guard and chucking it over the club rooms. Funniest moment, I think watching Harry try to kick is pretty funny. He's got an unusual technique, he just puts an arm behind his head and tries to kick the ball, so yeah, it's pretty funny. Um, geez, probably just watching Big Coxie run around on the field, that's pretty hilarious. Um, yeah. Uh, funniest moment, uh, one of the guys I used to play with at three quarter time started shaking everyone's hands. I just thought the game was over. When I um, played juniors, our coach made us all go jump out in the mud so no one was um, worried about getting muddy. I thought that was pretty funny. It's not mine, but Gav Donnan last year tried to kick a footy, pretty much got sniped from someone and kicked the ground. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, me chasing any midfielder and getting burnt every time. Watching Tim Sullivan play. Um, oh, it's funny now to look back, but when I was in about under 10s, I had a free kick probably about 10 metres out from the goal square and somehow managed to pull it out in the full. And there's photo evidence of it as well, so it's not too good. Uh, in year 12, it was a school footy game. Um, we were up by three points about half a minute to go. Uh, they kicked the point and me trying to be the hero, I've grabbed the ball to kick it out and I've stepped over the goal square uh, and a ball up in the goal square. We still won the game though, so it was alright. <laughs> Uh, it's always a laugh playing with Dino, he's always stuffing up somehow. Uh, probably when the uh, president's daughter kicked the wrong way. Uh, seeing Brad trip over in front of the coach's box. Uh, there's too many, I think, whenever someone gets hurt, or not, not in a bad way, but um, you know, like someone stacks it or something like that. But, um, and I like the goal celebrations too, they're always funny. A uh, guy was trying to rough me up, I gave him a bit of a smooch. Last year, in my 300th game, I kicked a goal on the boundary, ran along the boundary, celebrated, and slipped and fell in front of my whole family. It's pretty embarrassing. Uh, not me personally. I reckon the, there was one last year when I was watching the reserves, um, and one Luke Hobson got chased down by a bloke. I reckon he would have been on the pension if it was that old. <laughs> um, so I've chipped the ball to Sack Fortin, and um, it was about, about 15 metres out from goal. An easy set shot, and he's just scooped it up in the air five metres. Didn't even make the goals, <laughs> so it was pretty Um, In off season practice game, I smothered my own teammates, so I'd get the ball and have a shot myself. So yeah, definitely. Funniest moment was when um, Stevie Walters uh, took a hanger on his own teammate um, <laughs> on Baz, um, who had a simple chest mark. Um, and then decided to turn to the crowd, pump his chest, and tell everyone how amazing it was. Uh, definitely has to be kicking it out on the floor onto the roof of the other club rooms. Uh, probably being playing footy and the boys streaking on the ground after a full game. Uh, one time I remember, I can't remember who they were playing, but we were down, the two the reserves were down for about 30, 40 points late in the fourth. And uh, old mate Shepard kicked the goal from the boundary. It's a pretty good goal, but he celebrated a bit too hard for a uh, 40-point loss. 
couple of years ago I cramped in both calves at the same time and fell over. So, so I'm sure it was pretty funny for everyone else. <laughs> My very first training session ever I got falconed. That's that's great. <laughs> We had um, a T20 against the Cricket Club to share the footy field and someone hit the ball up really high. And new bloke at the club just is trying to establish himself. Got under it, put his hands up and it went through his hands and hit him between the eyes, cut his, cut his head open and he had to go, to go to hospital and not finish the game. He also come dressed in his full whites and wore wearing shorts and stuff so he looked silly too. Is he still at the club? Yeah, his name's Jimmy Ropes just in case you're wondering. <laughs> Um, probably seen a hamstring tear. It's always good watching someone go down like they get shot. Uh, <laughs> I uh, can't let the boys go on this one, so I used to be a, a boundary umpire in the AFL and uh, went down with a cramp for about two minutes to go and couldn't get back up, so uh, yeah, that was a good one tool of the week for that. Um, well, a few years ago when I got, uh, went up for a mark and my own teammate punched me in the face instead of punching the footy. Not mine, but uh, our teammate T last year decided to jump on the back of a giant and uh, go for a bear hug ride halfway down the field before she tried to get it to the ground. She basically got a free ride off her. I think when my sister got falconed, that's pretty good. Um, last year in the final, Daniel Rosen, we kicked the goal and done the Conor McGregor walk and smoothed up after he kicked it. <laughs> uh, last year, Timmy Johnson running into goal by himself, tripped over, missed it. Um, oh, getting seven kicked on me. Uh, in a pracky match last week, I accidentally kicked a goal. That was pretty awkward. <laughs> uh, I kicked the ball once and hit my own teammate in the face. Um, Chloe, coach's daughter, one of our players, she was yelling something near the opposition, uh, and someone from the opposition yelled out, Shut up, number 27! So we hang that up on her a fair bit. <laughs> um, watching my teammate, Lockie Hill, um, Copper hanger, definitely. Um, probably kicking the wrong way twice in the same game. Probably see Jessica get dapped by another player. <laughs> probably in the first season when one of the girls got told to run out the gate and she didn't know what that meant, so she ran off the ground and through the crowd and stood there for ages. <laughs>